Hello everybody, this is Brandon from Tekka, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install the Windows Developer Preview 64-bit English edition of Windows 8 in a VirtualBox operating system. And here it is. So, like I said, we're going to be doing this in VirtualBox, so I'm just going to get rid of this and open up VirtualBox. And when it opens, okay, I'm going to close this. Give me some more room to work with. Okay, so to do this, all you have to do is click New, and this setup wizard will come up. You're going to call it Windows 8 Windows 8 Dev, or whatever you want. I'm going to do um, other Windows next. I'm going to get it quite a bit of RAM. I'm going to give it four gigs, just like that. Uh, you can give it. I think. If I was you, I'd go with a minimum of 2 gigs just to be safe, but I'm going to go with 4. I'm going to click Next, click Next, do a virtual boss disk image, dynamically expanding, make it 20 gigs. You can make that whatever you want, just keep it above 10 gigs. Uh, click Curate, uh, Curate, and then here it is. Now before you start it, you're going to want to go to Settings, and you're going to want to go to System, and forgot to mention is in the settings you're going to want to under system you're going to want to enable OI APIC and give it uh, what was it you're going to want to take the video memory all the way up to a safe zone and you're going to want to enable 3d acceleration and that's it so click OK you can start it uh, then this wizard will come up you're going to want to select the ISO image what you downloaded uh, there's a link in the description if you're wondering. I have it right here. I'm going to click Open, Next, and Start. So then it will begin the process. Um, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make this so you can see it a little better. And it should start up just fine, just like it is right now. Um, I'll put some information in the description if it doesn't work the first time for you some settings you could change so now you're going to see a basic uh, Windows installation page so I'm just going to click next capture hit next again install now and then it's going to start it's going to take you through the basic Windows installation process which like so so you're going to accept the terms uh, you're going to go to custom click the partitioned area click next and then it's going to do the basic Windows setup. So I'm going to pause the video until it is done doing its thing. Alright, now that it has installed, you're going to get this, which comes up, which says personalize. You're going to give your, uh, you're going to give your computer, or in this case, a virtual machine, a name. So I'm just going to call it my name. Capture so I can get in here. Oh, I need to capture it on the mouse. There we go and I'm going to use the express settings. I'm going to create a login and all that. So I'm just going to call this Brandon. Make up the password. Make up another password. And then make a password hint. Username can't be different. That works. Hopkins. So now that I'm done with that, it's going to finalize my settings which I'm not sure how long will take so actually here it goes welcome personalizing your PC um, I'm not gonna make you go through all this I'm gonna pause the video real fast alright and it is done so this is Windows oh, oh. here we go this is Windows 8 which is very very cool it's kinda choppy right now due to the screen recorder um, if I click Windows Explorer, it will bring up. It'll bring up. Let's see if I can capture again. It'll bring up the new Windows Explorer, which is pretty cool. Uh, if I go to Music, Sample Music, and it has nothing in there, but I'll show you an example with this folder. You have Music Tools. Um, you can do all your folder stuff through here. Very very nice, but this is not what this video is about. So I'm going to close this. If you click your Start menu, it takes you here which all right i guess that's pretty cool um yeah so that's it
uh, when the Internet Explorer, which is a pain in the ass, won't even open up. So yeah, thanks for watching. This has been a Tech Hut tutorial. For more tutorials like this and Minecraft videos, please uh, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment and please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and goodbye.